What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in this simple video, I'm going to walk you through how to customize your social media links. Now, this right here, you guys, is basic. This is as basic as it gets when it comes to just overall branding of your business, right? We're all over here trying to build a business on social media. We're all trying to brand ourselves. whether you're trying to become an influencer or you're just trying to build your business. Social media is where, obviously, we're at. But when it comes to the branding of our links, trust me, all you guys miss this. All you guys miss this. After seeing and looking at tens of thousands of business pages, of personal Facebook pages, all since 2016. And the reason why is because that's when I started servicing clients. That's when I started my social media agency. That's when I started servicing real estate agents. And that's when I started looking at what everyone was missing. I started analyzing the market and really seeing what the common denominator, what's everyone missing? Where's the demand? What does, what does a person exactly need when it comes to social media marketing or Facebook advertising? As I started analyzing the market and really seeing where I fit in, I started noticing again, the common denominator. I started seeing everyone's pages and I started, and, and, and light bulbs went off and I'm like, damn, everyone's missing the basics. And that's where I came up with step one. So I ended up writing a book about this in 2018, the five-step blueprint. This is what I call step one, basic link customization. And again, after looking at tens of thousands of pages, I'm not exaggerating, 99.99% miss this basic step. And I just think it's super important because it's branding. It's your it's it's your overall footprint on social media. People need to be able to recognize, people need to be able to remember you, and people need to be able to find you fast, right, on social media. So this is just one little tip and one little way to make it happen. And really, again, separate yourself from most of your competition when it comes to just paying attention to details and the basic branding of what you're trying to do over here online. So Here's the end goal. Here's what I want to be able to do for you guys is I want you guys to customize your intro and it all starts on Facebook. Okay. Even if you're not on Facebook, if maybe some of your, you guys are, are, are a little younger that are following me over here on my channel. Uh, maybe you're, you're more on TikTok. Maybe you're more on Instagram. Maybe you're more on Snapchat. I'm telling you, Facebook remains King Kong. It all starts on Facebook. Um, so a lot of you guys that are business owners, some of you guys that are real estate agents that are that are getting this video, um, for sure, your clientele is on Facebook. If you're servicing clients above the age of 25, they're for sure on Facebook. Above the age of 30, they're for sure on Facebook. So everything starts here on Facebook and everything starts on your personal Facebook page, okay? Let's get that clear. Personal Facebook page. That's where it all starts. So this is the goal. The goal is to get the intro matching. The goal is to get every link identical and 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 listed just like that. Here's my page. Here's a friend of mine, which is a real estate agent, Candy. Shout out to Candy. Here's her intro. Um, right away, you see a link to her business page, not her brokers. So if you guys have your company, you, you know, your boss's company, your broker, if you're a real estate agent or whatever business you may be in, if this is leading to a different page other than yours, you need to edit that. And I'm going to show you how to go through the editing and, and do all that as well. But this right here needs to be your business page. Okay. And then if you scroll down one name for all, this is how we customize our user name, right? We want one main, one name for all. Now, Whatever name you choose for the for the for the handle for the username of that platform, what I also want you to do is I want you to come over here to GoDaddy. Go to Google actually first. Go to go to Google.com and you're gonna search cheap domains. Okay. This is what you're gonna do first. Cheap domains. You're looking for the ad, the GoDaddy ad. Now mine says $2.99, but most likely yours will say 99 cents. You'll be able to customize or get that custom domain for the first year for 99, 99 cents. And then after that, it's the normal 10 bucks or 14 bucks a year, um, whatever it may be after that. But the first year, you can at least get it for a buck or in this case, $2.99. Now, to take advantage of that, you'll need to purchase that new domain under a new account, new email, new credit card, if you already have a GoDaddy account. So if you already have a GoDaddy account, what I would do is I would just simply use a different email, use a different credit card to take advantage of the discount, right? It doesn't hurt to save a few bucks, but if you don't care, then just you know register it however you want, but get the custom domain, okay? Whatever you plan on using for your usernames, match it with the custom domain. And I would get the .com. Most of you guys are real estate agents or, or just small business owners in general. You'll want the .com. I got the .tv because I'm promoting my YouTube channel. But um, if you're not promoting a YouTube channel, then for sure get, get a .com and just match it with everything you got going, going on over here. Now, when it comes to 
business owners, right? Most of you guys are getting this video, real estate agents, online entrepreneurs, business owners, people that are servicing any, any, any client from the age of 25 and up. These are mainly the top platforms. Now you got the other platforms, TikTok and, and, and Snapchat and, and Clubhouse and a lot of, a lot of platforms that are, that are evolving, but these top five, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter. Those are your top five that you want to list over here for sure. Okay. Now, once we list them on our personal page, what we're going to also do is we're going to come over here to our business page and we're going to list them over here as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So right when someone comes to the business page and they just scroll down just a bit. Now I'm viewing this from, from the admin point of view, but um, when you go to anyone's business page, it looks a little different. But even, even over here, if I just scroll down just a bit over here, you see the, let's see, where did it go? Um, over here to the left towards the middle right here. You'll see all of my links right here. Okay. So everything from my .com inspired digital to my email, to all of my social media platforms, everything is one name. So again, you guys basic, this is branding. This is social media branding. This is how you take your one name that you're bringing to the marketplace and really allow it to, to really flourish and stand out. And I guarantee you right now, 99.9999% of every single one of you that are watching this video right this very second, none of your pages look like that. I guarantee it. I've seen tens of thousands. No one's looks like this. Um, business page, personal page. Okay. So what we're going to do is this is basic. This is super simple. We're going to log into each one and just customize the name. So the personal Facebook page, you don't need to customize that. You can, but but it's not even needed. It's the business page that we want to start with, right? The Facebook business page. So all we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the Facebook business page. And again, when you log in, yours should look like mine because I'm looking at it from the admin you know, perspective. So all we're going to do is we're going to click on more. We're going to go to about. And this right here down here is where we're going to change our user name. Um, let's see if we go to, where do they freaking change it to? They're always changing the damn thing. Let's go to um, edit page info. Okay, perfect. So that's where it's at. So all we're going to do is we're going to change the username. And, and whatever you type in, you'll see this little green circle with the check mark. That's how you know it's available. So once you know it's available, then you're going to come down and just save that damn thing. In fact, you know what? It saves automatically. So all you do is just type something in there. You'll see the, the green circle, and then it saves automatically. But what I would do first is, is obviously check. Check to make sure that, that's, that, that it's available on all platforms. Because here's the deal. It may be available, whatever name, especially if you have a more general name and a more common name. It may be available on, on Facebook, but someone may have it on LinkedIn, right? Someone may have it on LinkedIn or someone may have the .com. What I always do first is I'll go over here. Let's say we come to GoDaddy. I'll always check to see if the domain is available first. If that domain is available, then, then before I even purchase it, I'll come over here to my business page, click on edit page info, and I'll see if it's available here. Okay. Um, then if it is, I'll buy the domain right away. I'll, I'll register it here, the username on the Facebook business page, because chances are if it's available on Facebook and available on GoDaddy, then, then most likely no one else has it. Okay. And if someone else may have it. So let's say you register the, the domain, you got it for Facebook, but someone has it on Twitter. In that case, what I would do is I would reach out to that person on Twitter and say, hey, you know what? This is a business name that I've been promoting for a while. I own the .com. I even own the name on Facebook on my business page. It's my username. Would you mind changing it? And I'll, it, it'll be a friendly message, right? It'll be a friendly message um, or a way you can word it. This is how I would really word it. If it was someone on LinkedIn that has the name or someone on Twitter, I would reach, reach out to them and say, hey, 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 Stacy, you know, um, this is David. I just wanted to reach out to you because my attorney brought it to my attention that you're actually using our name. I own the .com. I own the name on YouTube and I'm in the, I mean, excuse me, on, on, on Facebook. And I'm also in the process of incorporating the name. Would you mind changing it before my attorney sends you a letter to really try to force you? I wanted to reach out to you just as a, as a friendly you know, message to see if you can kindly remove the name or change it um, so we can you know, use it for Twitter. Something like that, like a friendly message will go a long way 
especially if the, if you throw the word attorney out like that, people will change it right away. Okay. Especially if they don't own the .com. If they don't own the .com, if they don't have it on Facebook, chances are like, they're not that serious about the name. So for sure, I, I, I don't see why they wouldn't change it right now. If that person replies back and they says, you know what, David, go to hell. This is my name. I've been on Twitter forever. I've always had this name. I ain't changing shit. If that's the case, then then you're going to have to think of a different name because you don't want to go back and forth because the whole goal, the whole goal is to match identical, not one letter off, not one number off, not an underscore, not a dot, not a number, n- none of that, none of that. It's all identical. That's the purpose of this whole video, you guys. We want to match everything. So if you come across a jerk that won't change it, if I were you, I would think of a different name. I would think of a different name. I would think of a different name. So um so just wanted to throw, throw, throw that out there real quick, but that's how easily you, easy you do it on Facebook, okay? Now, once you change the username on Facebook, all you're going to do is come over here to the about section on your personal Facebook page. You're going to come to work and education, and you're going to simply either, either add a workplace or just come into the one that you have right now and edit it. So if I come over here to the one that I have listed right now, and if I just simply type in it would be it would be right here so i would just type in my 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 facebook business page or even my name and you'll see the drop down right away always go with the drop down so so type in your facebook business page here look for the drop down and choose the drop down okay that's very very important don't just type in something and go with it make sure you see the drop down okay and there goes my drop down right there that's my facebook business page so i click on that I put my position, I put the city, I put, I put a, a simple description. I'll put the, um, the, I currently work here from this state to, 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 um, to whatever, December 20th. I don't know why it says that, but, but you just go in and put, I currently work here. That that's fine. Actually. Yeah. This is just when I started. So um, check the box, click save and that's it. And then once you do that, then you can simply come back to your, um, to your, your, your profile. So we saved that. So now I can come back to post and I'll come back to my actual profile and I'll see my link right up here. And it's a clickable link. Okay. That's why you want to make sure you hit the drop down because if you don't hit the drop down, it won't be a clickable link. Okay. So make sure you do that right there. Okay. So now all we're going to do is we're going to simply go to Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and customize all those links. So it's very, very simple. You guys, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on my computer, or you can do it from your cell phone. It's up to you. But coming to Instagram, we're going to click on edit profile and we want to change the username. That's all we want to do is change the username. Once we change it there, we'll come down, we'll click submit and we're good. Okay. Then we're going to come to Pinterest. Now, here's the deal, you guys. Even if you don't use these platforms, I don't use them. I don't know one damn thing about Pinterest. I don't know one damn thing about Twitter. I don't know one thing about LinkedIn. I've never posted on any of them. All I do is I, I'm big on YouTube. So YouTube is where I put all my content. And then all I do with that video is I share it on these platforms. But as far as posting organically, I don't do any of that on any of these platforms, but I have them listed because I know the importance of having them up. Now, having them up, it's not about you. It's not about you posting on, on any of these platforms. Again, I don't post on, on any of these platforms. The reason why it's these top five, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Twitter, because Again, if you're servicing anyone above the age of 25, they're on those platforms. So this ain't about you. It's about your audience. Because you connect, Just because you connect with me on Facebook, how do you know that I don't spend 77 hours a day on LinkedIn? You don't know that, right? You may have connected with me here on our personal Facebook page. We became friends. Now we're friends on Facebook. Okay, cool. But how do you know I don't spend all my day on Twitter? You don't know that, right? What you have to understand as a business owner is that there's billions of people on these top five, billions. Well, you got Facebook and then you got the other four. There's billions. So if, again, if you're servicing 25 and above, chances are they're on one of these platforms. So all we're doing here is we're, we're, we're making our brand visible. We're locking that one name on every platform so no one else can take it. And we're just allowing people to follow us on their favorite platform, not necessarily ours. Just because I connected with you on Facebook and that's where I spend all my time. If you happen to be on Pinterest, well then shit, click, follow me there. And because you're on Pinterest all damn day and that's where you're comfortable messaging people, When you message me regarding business, I'm going to be glad I got that message, right? All because I have it listed. And so here's all we're going to do. Once we edit the the, the, the username for Instagram, 
Then we come over here to Pinterest and we're gonna click on, let's click on over here, you'll see our drop down. So if I click on the drop down, right here, that little arrow, I'll click on the drop down and I'll go down to settings. So let me click on this and I come down to settings. And all I'm doing, you guys, again, I don't know one damn thing about Pinterest, but 900 million people are there and I'm gonna make sure my name is there. I'm gonna make sure it's locked. I'm gonna make sure I have a presence. I'm gonna make sure that anyone can reach me there should they want to, right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and customize the user name. Once I type it in, then I'll come down and I'll hit save. And now I got that domain. So and if, you, and if you notice, everything is optimized, meaning everything is listed, the about, the website, everything is directing people back to my TV, my dot TV. So in your case, what I would highly, highly recommend that you start doing on all these platforms is number one, customizing the username. But then number two, if you're not building a YouTube channel like me, I'm trying to take all the traffic and all the attention and every click to my YouTube channel. If that's not you, what you're going to want to do here is get that custom domain. And rather than forwarding the custom domain to some fancy website, you're going to want to forward it to a landing page. So whatever business you're building, if a, a real estate agent, for example, you want to be, if I click on your link, take me to your seller guide page where I can opt in and download a free seller guide or a free buyer guide. And you could take that and apply it to any business. If you're, if you own a gym, that.com, allow me to click on it and go to your landing page where you're giving a seven day pass for free, a free download, seven days on us. You own a coffee shop? Okay, I click on it. Take me to a landing page that requires me to opt in to download a coupon for my first free coffee, right? A landing page to capture a lead. That's where that link should be directing people to, not a fancy website, okay? A landing page where you can capture a lead. Very, very important. So on all my platforms, you'll see that .com or the .tv, and it's taking that person to one link, okay? One place, and in your case, if it's not YouTube, get me to download something. Get, ha, ha, you know, give yourself the opportunity to capture a lead. That's what that link is all about, that website URL, okay? So there's our Pinterest. Now we're going to come over here to LinkedIn, and all we're going to do up here in the top right, we're going to make sure we click our, our profile. We're going to go view profile, and then it's going to bring us to this page right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to click on edit public profile and URL, and that's going to bring us to this right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click the pencil, put in my username, click on save, and that is that, okay? Then the last one, I'm gonna come over here to Twitter and I'm gonna come to my profile. I'm gonna click on more. I'm gonna come to settings and privacy. And then over here, I'm gonna come to your account and then I'm gonna go account information. And then all it's asking me for is my password. I'll put that in, I'll confirm it. And now I can change my user name, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put in that one single identical name right there. I'm going to click save. And now I just got Twitter. Okay. Now again, look, it's giving me suggestions, not one number off you guys, not one letter off, not an underscore, not a period. The whole point is to match everything. Okay. Get everything matching. And then once we do all that, now here's the next step. We're going to come over here. We're going to click on actually we can go to, we can go to edit profile to our personal, our personal, uh, um, uh, Facebook page. We're going to click on edit profile. Then we're going to come down here to customize your intro. We're going to click on edit. And all I'm going to do is scroll down. And then I'm going to see right here, social links. And all I'm doing is simply hitting the pencil and adding that social link. Actually, you know what? I could come over here too. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. So if I'm on the timeline, here's how I want you to do it. If I'm on the timeline, I'm going to click about and then I'm going to go down to contact and basic info. This is the easier way to do it. And here's everything. Okay. So right here, I can add my website and it's going to be that, that one.com that I just purchased that matches everything else. And then over here, the social links, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the pencil and this is where I paste in, paste in, paste in, paste in, and just match it to the, to the, to the, to the proper platform. That's it. Now you don't need the whole link, the HTTPS and all that stuff. You just need the user name. Okay. So you're going to do that. You can always add another one, but you're going to always make sure that this is public. Don't show it to just friends. Not only me, don't try to customize it. Make this public. You're a business owner. And regardless if a person is your friend on Facebook or not, 
they should see that publicly. So just like you guys, if you're, if we're not friends on Facebook, come to my personal page and you'll see all that, even though we're not friends. Okay. So that's the, the, the personal page, get everything listed, make sure it's public, make sure your website is showing public, make sure that, um, your work and education, make sure that this is showing public. You want people to be able to see that business page link right away. Um, right. And so, um, that's the personal page. Once you customize and add everything there, then you're going to bring all those links over here to the business page. And you're going to simply click on right here, down here, you'll see all the links. So all I did is I simply went, here's the home page, right? I come to the home and all I did, I clicked on more. I clicked on about, and now I can scroll down and I can edit the social media links. And again, it's just the user name. I'll line it up with that platform and then it saves automatically and you're all good. That's what's gonna give you the, 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 the ability to have everything listed and they're clickable links. I don't know why Snapchat and, and LinkedIn for some reason isn't clickable, but everything else is. But at least it shows, right? It shows right there. And then on the personal page, everything is clickable right there as well. So you guys, step your game up. This is basic branding. And I'm telling you right now, your page probably doesn't look like that. Um, most, if, if anything, I'll see some that are, that are listed, but everything is different. Everything looks different. Like there's an underscore, there's a one, two, seven for the Pinterest, like everything is different. The purpose and the goal and the whole objective is to get everything matching. So that's how you customize your social media links. You guys, those are the top uh, four um, that you want to list one, two, three, four. And then of course the .com or the .tv in my case, but that's basic, you guys. That's basic. That's what I call step one. So go ahead and get everything listed, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.